Hello again and welcome to another behind the scenes video. This one is about all of the visuals for my single House on Fire. So the cover art, the Instagram stories, the lyric video and so on. I very much did not want my face on the cover or really in any of the visuals to be honest. Um, but I will come back to that uh, once we've talked about some of those visuals because I, it, will, it will make more sense, I think, I hope. So given that the song is called House on Fire, it always seemed fairly obvious that the visuals were going to include a lot of fire and houses on fire, if I could figure out how to do that, since I couldn't, you know, burn down actual houses because that would be arson. Um, I know genius idea like utterly inspired what can i say um anyway i did a lot of thinking and a lot of searching looking at different visuals for various different things and did eventually come up with a series of different ways that we could create that imagery for the cover art i found these little wooden house cut out things online um i'm not sure what their original intended purpose is but they worked great for us um richard my best friend who is not only an amazing songwriter musician performer producer he's also a fantastic photographer and videographer i mean how can one person be so good at so many things? It's really not fair. Um, anyway, he did most of the photo and video work for my single Invisible and for the Honest EP. Um, he came to visit me and we lit these little wooden houses on fire in the fire pit in my garden. The whole thing was a bit of a challenge. Um, it was November and it was freezing and pretty windy at certain points. So getting the houses to burn in a way that looked good for cover art. It, well, it took some trial and error. <laughs> I think at one point we even tried soaking them in water so that the fire burned around them but left them intact. I can't even remember which technique ended up working in the end. But fortunately we had quite a lot of them so we were able to experiment and we just burned one after the other after another after another after another until we hopefully had enough photos for Richard to experiment with. Richard texted me with an idea the very next day I think and I just I I just loved it. Um he picked a great photo. It was it was one that we'd both instantly taken to while we were still shooting and he'd edited the title onto the house as you can see in the cover art and I just I just thought it was stunning and after a bit of tweaking and cleaning up it became the cover art for the song so <laughs> that was relatively straightforward as some of my cover art processes have gone. Some of them have been quite complicated to make. Thank you Richard for putting up with me. Months before this I'd bought a couple of these basic wooden houses. I can't show you one because we burned them. Um, and again, I have no idea what their intended purpose was. 
probably not this though. Anyway, I thought I thought they might be good for making these visuals, even though I didn't know how yet. Um, in the end, we used different things for the cover art and the lyric video, but I still really I still really wanted to use them in some way, so we burned them anyway <laughs> and videoed it. And for the most part, they ended up as teasers on social media, on Spotify and all of that sort of stuff. I shot this stuff myself, burning them in the fire pit. Um, I draped a sheet behind them to make sure the background looked consistent and then used a lot, a lot of fire lighters to set them on fire. <laughs> Again, there was a lot of experimenting, but I did get some very cool photos and videos. It was also a bit of a reminder that this was not particularly safe. Um, I was sitting very close to what at certain points was a pretty intense fire and I did nearly burn myself multiple times. Um, I melted my phone case because it was so close to the fire for so long. I'm probably lucky that I didn't do irreparable damage to the actual phone. Although the heat did crash it, fortunately, just as I was wrapping up. So I was very lucky <laughs> on that one. Um, it's fine now though. I did have to get a new phone case. I did find out later that the fire pit burned a mark in the deck. So it certainly wasn't risk-free. It was not risk-free. I spent a lot of time thinking about the music video. Uh, as I said, I really, really didn't want to be in the visuals for a few different reasons. The song is very personal, but it's also about so many other things. At this point, the pandemic, the political situation in the UK, the anxiety and the distress associated with being part of a group that the government and society really cares so little about. I just... With all that in mind, I didn't really want to be in it. I didn't want specifically my face to be synonymous with those ideas because that's all of that is not it's not about me I mean I'm part of that but it's about so much more than me so I didn't want my face attached to it on top of that, I was going through some really intense, awful mental health stuff and the idea of filming and editing and staring at my face for who knows how many hours, was it was just not something I felt like I could do. It actually kind of blows my mind that I'm now sitting here doing this, staring at my face for who knows how many hours. And it's not easy, but I can do it. Like that's a big change from when 
this whole process with this single started. In theory, I could have waited until I felt better to release music and videos and all of the associated stuff. Um, but this was before I went back on medication and I didn't know how long it was all going to take. I didn't know how long it would be until I felt able to manage it all. And I felt like I already made everyone wait so long for anything new. Plus, I really wanted to get this song out because it feels so, <laughs> so appropriate for the times. Um, so I had to come up with something else for the music video and I'm actually really glad I did because I do really love the lyric video. I decided that I wanted to do a lyric video because the lyrics are really the heart of the song. Um, then I just needed to decide on the visual that would accompany them. I have this little metal house called a worry hut where you write down something you're worried about on a little slip of paper and you put that inside the house and then light it with a match and let it burn down to nothing. And I really like the symbolism of that given that the song came about because it was me writing my way out of all of my fear. Um, but of course it also fitted visually <laughs> with the song. So for the video footage I set up the worry hut on this mantelpiece um, and after many many attempts I managed to get a video where everything <laughs> looked good for the length of time that we would need for the lyric to run. I have I have so many clips where the flame went out or it was all smoke or something else looked weird and the whole thing for for a song that is not even three minutes long. I probably have over an hour of footage because it went wrong so many times. So many times. This filming session was pretty chaotic. There was so much smoke by the end that I could barely see and it took so long to clear. It's probably a miracle that the smoke detector didn't go off and that no one called the fire brigade. Um, it probably wasn't very safe. But fortunately nothing went too wrong and I, I do absolutely love how it looks. So fortunately it all worked out. I sent that footage to Richard who I think it's important to point out, had never made a lyric video before and this was his first attempt. Like, round of applause because I think it's amazing. Um, and the first draft he sent back to me is actually, it was really close to the final edit. Like, conceptually, I don't think there was anything I wanted to change. I just had some questions and some details to tidy up and there were a few typos that were probably my fault to start with and that was it. I think the end result is so beautiful in its simplicity and also in its attention to detail. I love the flickering within the text like embers and I love the flame escaping the house. The imagery just feels perfect. 
and I'm really not sure that I that I could have made a traditional music video that I would have liked more. So there you have it, how the visuals behind House on Fire came to exist. Um, I hope you like them. I hope you think they add something cool to the song and I hope you enjoyed this video and the bloopers to come. I will see you soon. I don't know when, but soon, I promise. Thank you sincerely for the time you put in to me and my music, for streaming my songs, for watching the videos to the comments on social media, to the messages you send me. There is truly nothing else I would rather be doing. And if you like my music, that means you, <laughs> you like me and you feel the same things that I do and And therefore, I, there is no one I would rather go through this career, journey, whatever you want to call it, with. So, thank you.